Hello everyone, this is Cross Stitch with Luda. Today is December 21st and I will be showing my starts day 18, 19 and 20s. So as you can see, I have a finish. This is just Nen Christmas Dragon Ornament. And um, I completed in a few hours. It was very fun stitch and uh, I could not stop. <laughs> I was in love with this design from the day one. Let me show you closer. I found Kranich in my stash so I did not have to buy. Anyway, I usually will do lots of mistakes in a small pieces like that, but uh, here I was happy not to make any mistakes and I enjoy every single stitch. It was so much fun to stitch this design and uh, I was uh, stitching on linen from Witchild Milk Chocolate and uh, I like how it's uh, come out. But originally you will stitch on um, natural linen here. Because of the picture you won't see the real color on the preview, but they're quite similar, I think. The only thing I have to do is uh, to make a cushion, pin cushion, but I need more time, so <laughs> because I could not spend more time, I. Uh, just showing you finish project, not fully finished project, but and it's really tiny. If you will compare to the pin, I mean you can see that pin is almost half of the size of the cushion. It will be right here. Maybe I will just have uh, this pin cushion on my table just to decorate, just as decoration, but. I think I will have uh, in a special tray where I keep all my other stuff and I, I'm just happy to have it. <laughs> I can look at this piece forever. <laughs> and uh, as I planned before, I wanted to have two pin cushion by the end of this year and I do have them. I just need to finish and it will take a few hours maximum, I think, not more than two hours, because it's really tiny, you can com compare to my hand, but it's pretty, it really is. So one finish, <laughs> small, but it's a finish. I did not think I will complete this project, but when I start stitching it, I said I have to finish it and have fun. And I just have to adjust all this uh, other stuff, beads and so this is a cover from the pin and I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm happy. <laughs> it was my first start. My second start is Veronica from Mirabilia or by Mirabilia. She's very popular and uh, she is one of the best designs from last year. I like her and I like uh, Miss Cherry Blossom. I think they're they're great. But this this is Scarlett O'Hara. <laughs> to us, lots of people comparing her to Scarlett O'Hara, and I like her. I like her dress. I like colors, and I like my fabric of choice and. I am now more calm because I see how it's popping out and I'll show you closer. I will remind you this is 30 second count uh, linen from Pictures is Plus, uh, Crystal Arctic. And this is few stitches <laughs> I've done. Less than three hours, it's for sure, because I did not have much time. I spend my all time, my all time for other project. It's uh, Butsila. <laughs> I'll show you now. 
not nothing much to show you but just wanted to see if it looks good on this fabric but I like it and I think uh, when she will be done she will be gorgeous just gonna wait to start all my <laughs> new projects and uh, give some time and attention and uh, you've been asking me about my rotation I I've never had so many whips as I will have now so I don't know what is the plan I don't know what I will do with all these projects but I know for sure I like to have two projects uh, at a time you know if I will stitch big dimensions kit it usually takes me two months two and a half months if I will stitch non-stop and just one project but sometimes you will get tired and also uh, because I have a channel uh, you would not be happy to watch every single two weeks just one project and uh, I understand that I know some people will but I like I'm also <laughs> watching uh, videos and I like to see where more than two projects at least three I don't like to see where it's like seven or eight then you will forget what was <laughs> in that video and uh, as a blogger it's really hard to remember your emotions and uh, details of the whip but when it's three four okay maybe two it's still okay but one it will be boring so i don't know about my rotation yet but i can tell you that i probably will be stitching two or three designs at a time usually i will have one small dimensions uh, gold collection petites where i take it with me uh, sometimes I go with my son somewhere, have to sit and wait when he will be playing or probably he will do some sports soon and uh, I'll take some small piece with me. Then at home I will have uh, one design, I'll be, when I will get tired from one design I probably will take another one or maybe I will just uh, will pull out some random design from my luggage because I put every single uh, project I've stitched uh, in a luggage so probably it will be there so <laughs> next question was about uh, mandala if I like mandala or no or why I don't stitch mandala <laughs> the, the answer is simple I have lots of lots of um, uh, mirabilia kit it up I have huge stash so I, I want to see if I will be good girl this year I probably will buy myself a mandala I like a uh, couple of them like really like to the point I want to stitch but I am not sure I'm not sure when I will buy that mandala and I, I need to stitch what I have right now as you can see I have lots of lots of designs to stitch so my last one was Dana's Roses by Godzilla and the next day I upload video I have lots of questions I have lots of people asking me about this design uh, first of all here you will be using DMC threads and uh, it makes uh, our life much easier uh, compared to other kids Godzilla kids they have their own uh, their own um, threads it was really hard to sort them out I spent I spent uh, about three hours non-stop like I I, um, I start uh, sorting them I check my my uh, clock and after three hours non-stop and uh, I mean I've done it with dimensions kit but you can't compare to Bootsilla uh, dimensions usually will take me less than one hour but this one was <laughs> something different and it's really hard to see colors on a preview here I mean you need daytime it's for sure it's really hard to see when it's dark and right now when I look at all these colors like uh, nothing difficult this is light this is medium this is darker but sometimes when you have two bunches of uh, threads it's really hard to understand which one goes to where because you probably won't notice but um, 
they're very close to each other and you don't know which one to put where and uh, you have more right now it's so easy when it's like done you see nothing difficult it's like should be very easy but every single color every single color i was checking with this dmc chart and i'm so glad I, I bought it in ukraine and i bought it so cheap maybe 13 dollars i was still thinking to buy or not to buy but uh, i'm using this very often i have lots of leftover uh, threads and sometimes or it's really annoying whenever i have to start new project i always will will need another skein of dmc thread and i have to go to michael's or i have to order and uh, i just take out my leftovers from previous kits from previous uh, projects uh, and i just put the thread right here and see if it's similar or no and it saved me <laughs> lots of uh, time because otherwise i have to go to shop and you are in the mood to start your project but you don't you, i mean i thought i have every single thread of dmc but sometimes you using them and you don't understand you don't remember that they're done they're finished now i write on a piece of paper if i need uh, any thread so if I go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or wherever, I will get my missed threads. So that was like really fun for the first hour to put all these uh, threads on organizers. But then it was like, oh, can't wait till I'm done. Because it's like, sound like never ending story. I will insert a video when I was, when I was showing how I was doing that. But it's here lots of lots of threads, as you can see. And uh, let me show the result. Here is the preview. They're very pretty. And uh, I remember when we just moved to United States, it was so cheap in Hobby Lobby. I look at them and I, I did not pay any attention. I, I don't know, something I did not like in this uh, picture. Maybe because of watercolors. I don't know. But now I... I <laughs> but when the were out of print everyone needed them and i'm so happy i have this beautiful picture beautiful kit and here is a oh, wait i can't remember i think this is... no this one is down so i started from the center as always and this is even weave even weave i think i've stitched before on even weave but i'm not sure and was, I thought it's like the same as Monaco, but um, no, it's not. I was struggling in the beginning till I changed a needle. I changed uh, needle to 28 count. And then, I mean, I can't say my stitches are perfect here. I'm not happy because, uh, um, I don't know, it was a bit strange to stitch on this fabric. But you will see here lots of uh, quarter stitches. You won't notice them when you just look at the pattern, but when you start stitching every single line, where is the back stitch? There is a, like you can see, it's here and here, here and here, everywhere. But it's okay, after you stitch Mirabilia, this is nothing. <laughs> I know some people don't like to stitch them, but I don't mind, as long as the um, picture will be nice and uh, you will be happy with the result. I did not stitch much because I spent three hours for <laughs> certain threads and I have only 24 hours, <laughs> I need to sleep, I'm actually a bit tired today, I don't know why, I mean, this weather makes us tired and uh, I did not sleep much last night, maybe hard to get up early in the morning. So here, I can't remember if I showed you last time or no, but uh, almost every stitch you will do two you will use three strands uh, th three sorry two strands uh, strands <laughs> of dmc and uh, sometimes you will use one 
over here. And also there is one blend, which is great. I like it. But as you can see, lots of uh, different colors of backstitch. So, of course, I don't like to use my chart. While I'm using my chart, I have to check uh, what is going on on the key. I uh, just made a copy of the key. So I have it next to me and then I can see easy without turning the chart. I don't like when they do that, when you have to make a copy. They understand this is will be on your hoops or on your stand or whatever. But anyway, the small things, but I'm happy I have a printer at home so I can make a copy. And I hope I will have this beautiful design done by the end of the next year. But we will see. I have lots of big starts. So I need to focus on them. And that's it for my starts from last video. I will be showing now my new video, or my new starts. Sorry, it's my second video and <laughs> I need to be done so I can continue and stitch my dimensions kit because I also want to finish it uh, by the end of this year. I'm not sure I will, maybe I will uh, spend two more days in uh, January, but at least I want to be very, very close till end. And also my son just came back from school. He is early today that only had um, a regular day. Usually he will go after school, he will do after school program, but today he is uh, early and uh, <laughs> <laughs> he needs uh, my attention. So, this is, will be my future start. You know, I love mermaids. And uh, this mermaid was one of the first I've purchased and I kitted her up three years ago. And she's, she's absolutely stunning. I've seen her stitch on original fabric. I've seen her stitch on similar to my fabric. I mean, I, don't, I didn't see her much on YouTube. I know Miss O'Crafty stitched her. And uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember who else stitched her. But anyway, it will be fun to watch how she will be turning. And I will be using this fabric from Pictures This Plus. This is Crystal Chas. I will not... Uh, change anything in this design. I only will, uh, will stitch or two over one or one over one. I will see how it will, uh, how it will looks like your skin. But her tail will be full of kern and uh, there is, there are two here water list in this design. I have some leftover from previous mermaids, probably. I mean, I have lots of lots of uh, Karen water lilies of uh, Blue Lavender 17. It's beautiful thread. And I have some leftovers. Hope I will be, I will use all of them. And uh, this color is a uh, Blueberry 041. Also, it's a beautiful color. It will be in her tail. The rest are DMC threads. Not much, but I have them all. I was so happy to find out I have every single <laughs> one. I don't have to drive. I don't have to order anything. I have everything for her. And um, lots of beads. Two clinics. Yeah, two clinics. I always try to save place, so I was sorting my bits in an organizer. Now I have to put them back. <laughs> I, I do double work, but maybe I'm happy because of that. Okay, this is uh, 001 highlighter, number 4 and number 4009. Two clinics. Beautiful colors. Also, lots of big beads, which is great. I love stitching them. This is 18010. It looks like a 
drop. Also, this one is my favorite. Nora using in every single design. <laughs> 18, 8, 18, 828 and 16, 602. This is big bits. What else? Oh, this one is a green. It's also beautiful. 18831 00168 00146 uh, 146 This one is fun. And treasures. One more, one more. 00020 And treasures. I put some of them in a box because again I was saving some space and I think they will put every single flower in different box. Here all treasures she will need. More flowers. And these crystal treasures. There are six of them. Again, they were all in different boxes, but I put them in, a, in one. They're beautiful. I mean, I like all this bling bling. <laughs> So this is, I think I will start here today, if I have power, if I will not fall asleep. <laughs> Seriously, I slept last night like four hours. I went to bed late and I had to wake up at six o'clock in the morning. So my next design is Little House Needleworks, finally. I, I've been planning to stitch this design since 2016, I think so, or 17. Can't remember, but uh, we bought it in Cape May in New Jersey. We drove there from New York City just to have nice drive. And my husband asked me if I want to go for a walk. I told him I don't. If I want to go for a drive, <laughs> I said I don't. He said maybe we can go to a cross stitch store. I said no cross stitch store open on Sundays. <laughs> And he said, uh, why not? I said, because they're usually closed. He said, check Google. And I Google and I closed this store I found open on Sunday. It was in Cape May, almost four hours away, three and a half. But we obviously stopped somewhere and it took us longer. But we found this city is gorgeous. I have a beach. It was like a resort city, small little town and uh, beautiful Victorian houses and uh, nice, clean, we like it there. Also, I spent like two hours at the store and I wanted to have something to remember. And uh, I made a couple purchases there. I got, I think, Mirabilia pattern as always, and I got this one and uh, Shepherd's Bush. Shepherd's Bush, I stitched already. Finished, but this one I still I have no time not no time but I mean always like it's really hard for me to stitch small designs and I'll be using my fabric I stitched before this pretty lady here this fairy and I have left to over over here and I can't make other fairy so I think it will be enough to stitch this design over here and I don't have all uh, threads from the chart I had some mixed day works I have like all this mix but they looks very similar to original one instead of using DMC I'll see what will what I will have if I will be not happy I will get another one but this will be my second start. And my last start, it's a dimensions kit, gold nuggets. This is out of print kit, paint this on a toil. And I've done her sister <laughs> design, Hydrogen, he, again, I forgot this name, keep forgetting, Hydrania, I think Hydrania. I know how to write, but some words I don't know how to pronounce, but I hope you understand. So I check uh, this kit before because I was recording a video for Russian uh, YouTube. The chart is not as difficult as uh, her sister one. 
your companion. This is all threads. I need to sort them, and it's not difficult at all. <laughs> I can do it like in less than 10 minutes because this is a smaller kit than uh, gold collection. And uh, I have everything here to complete this design. So this is a black Aida 18 count. It's hard to stitch when you don't have enough lights on it, but it's fine. I'm, I'm used to. I've stitched a couple projects before on a black Aida. As you can see here, you do like a pin keep and you attach to the fabric and uh, they put everything you will need, which is nice. I'm not sure if I will do as uh, they show because I want to use it, I want to use it in a box. I've seen one box with, um, with hydrogen, again, sorry. <laughs> with her other flower and it was pretty and it was beautiful and I want to do another, I want to make a box so I probably will use this and uh, background I'll be using probably for another for another design maybe maybe not and they have here whole instructions how you have to finish your project you can do it by yourself and how to make a cording but I have special machine for that and it looks like okay it's not that difficult it just takes your time from stitching and also they have a needle here so this is all my projects I'll be starting soon, hope today one, because I'm a little bit delayed. And also Christmas is coming, I definitely will not stitch as much as before. And Daniel now won't go to school because we have vacation, summer, uh, winter holidays, so I'll try, I'll try, but I I'm very sure I will uh, spend another week or five days in January to complete all my starts and at the end I want to say thank you to my uh, follower to my dear friend thank you very much Kitty for this beautiful uh, card I was so happy to receive uh, this gift as well and I will be using in my future projects and uh, thank you thank you very much for everything I was so happy to find uh, your card in my mailbox and uh, Paul says thank you very much as well. And uh, I, that's it for today. I want to wish you a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your stitching. And uh, I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye. I just opened my Bootsilla kit. And uh, I realized that here they put uh, DMC threads. And it will make my life much easier. I first have to sort them and ha they have two organizers inside the kit but threads are so long as you can see right now this is going to here so I would advise you to cut them first and then you pull them out color by color otherwise you will create a mess and I took some threads out. I'll be placing them or on an organizer and my DMC chart will help me because I can check all the colors if I'm doing right or not because some of them are very very similar. But I, I think you can manage without GMC chart but just in case I'm using this chart and then I'll be checking my key where it's written where all numbers right here and so it's easy to understand where is dark dusty teal or dusty teal you know sometimes you 
confused not right here like light dusty teal dusty teal dark dusty teal so it's not as difficult as i thought i hope i'll come back to you quickly